Today's vlog is a special episode about beauty products, which is why David decided not to be in this episode. I just wanted to talk about some of my favorite products and David's favorite products that we've gotten off of Amazon recently. There is one common theme among all of the things I'm going to talk about today, and it is that they are all free from harmful chemicals and ingredients, which is very important to me these days. What are you doing? This is going to be like a sudden swap. All of a sudden there's going to be a cut and then there's a new plan. Well, you're going to have to put me in when I'm swapping. <laughs> I've been thinking, and I just wanted to say, I've been thinking about doing this for a while because these are products that I actually really love and use, and they're not just things that I found on Amazon. Because I find that you have to be very wary of the reviews written on Amazon. You never know if they're written by somebody who is a friend of the person who makes the product, or if the person got the product for free to review it. These are my actual experiences with these products, and they're not, I'm not being paid to tell you this. So the first thing I want to talk about is this almond oil. I got this almond oil because I was searching for this almond oil. This almond oil is by L'Occitane, L'Occitane, and it's really expensive. This bottle of 8.4 ounces cost $25. We got this as a gift and I really, really loved it, but it cost way too much for me to buy over again. I started to Google if there were similar products that were a lot less expensive. And surprisingly, this product is very rare because there are not a lot of comparable products out there. There was one that I found and it was some oil from Belgium or something like that, which that's not helpful. It's going to be expensive too. But this on Amazon only costs $18.50 versus this costing $25. And you can see the size difference here. Now it doesn't smell exactly as wonderful as this but I would call it like an eight and a half out of 10, where this is a 10 of 10. This stuff smells amazing, and this smells amazing. <laughs> Get for this, this is 16.9 ounces, and this is 8.4 ounces, so the cost is a lot more sensible with this. So as I said, I love this stuff because the smell is amazing. That's really primary for me. I mean, I know a lot of women don't like their products to have scents, but I really do like my products to have scents, and I like them to smell really nice, and this smells really nice. Not only that, if you have dry skin, which I have very dry skin, this is great to use instead of soap, because soap is drying and removes your natural oils, and this is an oil. This product contains, it contains argan oil, shea butter, and coconut oil. All good things. So not only can you use it as a shower, oil if you wanted to shave with it you can put it on your skin and then shave so it keeps everything really soft and moisturized the other product I want to talk about is David's favorite this is called Puria and it's called the mother of all creams it says it combats itchy skin cracked skin skin redness and swelling it's a 13 in 1 natural formula also as I said about everything here cruelty free the reason David loves this is because he had a lot of redness on his face, especially he gets this in the winter time. It's dry and red. I kind of thought it may be eczema, but he puts this cream on and with, within two days it's completely gone. He's used other things. I think he even had prescription creams before for this specific issue and it would take at least a week and sometimes they just wouldn't work at all and this works immediately. It's also the same with skin on his hands. He has really dry skin on his hands in the winter and they can sometimes crack and this completely healed the issue. What's cool about this is it's also got really great natural ingredients and some of the key ingredients that are the most helpful in it are aloe, so very, very healing, honey and shea butter again. So very, very thick cream and moisturizing. Look, you can see how thick it is. It says the mother of all creams for a reason. In the same realm of this skin lotion, I also got this salve. And I got this because I was having some sores around my mouth from the chemotherapy. And when I got this salve, I put it on my mouth, around my nose I was getting sores because inside of my nose during chemo, I had no hair in my nose. So any problems in there, were a lot worse than normal. So I would put this in my nose to keep it moisturized 
and this contains propolis. Propolis is known to be antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory, so this is some magic stuff right here. Propolis has worked for thousands of years for wound healing, and we used this before pharmaceutical companies came along and told us we needed to buy their products. You could use this for many things, like if you have a sunburn, or you have a cut, or you have a burn, or you have anything that is a minor skin irritant, but a little more severe than using something like a lotion, you could use this, because it's kind of got a waxy property, so it stays on the sore or whatever issue you have much longer. The last chemo, I had chemical burns from the chemotherapy leaching out of my capillaries, and I mean, I was getting blisters. It looked like I had put my leg in certain areas of my body into a hot stove, but putting this on them overnight, it felt so much better, it made them feel a lot better, and the problem went away a lot faster. Not only does it have propolis, which is a great natural healing ingredient, it also has tea tree oil. But, I mean, there are so many things in here that are good. Beeswax, olive oil, almond oil, hemp seed oil, vitamin E oil, aloe vera, shea butter, tea tree oil, and propolis. Look at the back of this. It says, Redheaded Honey Crafts All Natural Skin Care Products and is on a mission to save the bees. We pledge 1% of our sales to honeybee preservation. So another good reason to buy this product. Another thing I found recently because I wanted to get a natural deodorant that was aluminum free, I found this Schmitz deodorant on Amazon. You can buy this deodorant either in these containers where it's loose and you just kind of scoop the product out like this. Or you can get it in a container, a typical deodorant container that you rub on like this, but it's a lot cheaper if you buy it in these little tubs. So all you do is rub it under your arm and it works great. I really, really love the smell of this one that I got for myself, rose and vanilla, and I got David, the one that is bergamot and lime. And another thing about these products, also cruelty free, they contain no harmful chemicals like the aluminum that I was kind of afraid of. If you don't know, there's controversy about using aluminum in deodorants because aluminum is not good for the human body and it's in deodorant. It's the component that prevents you from sweating. I really, really, really love these because another issue that I had during chemotherapy at the last treatment, my fingernails got really, really painfully sore and then they separated from the nail bed. So right now I'm working on growing my fingernails back. They're about halfway there, which means my fingernails are very dry, very brittle, and they break extremely easily. In fact, this one, which has a Band-Aid on it right now, is only halfway there. I've been using these strips. Every time I take them off, I immediately put another set back on, but they're not just for chemotherapy patients because I used these before I ever had chemotherapy. And what's great about these is normally when you paint your fingernails, the polish wears off in two days or less sometimes. And these strips, when you put them on correctly, will last up to two weeks, at least in my experience. Another thing that I like these over the Sally Hansen strips, which are very similar and you can buy them in store, the Sally Hansen strips are cool, but they're all weird colors and patterns. I mean, they're all weird patterns. And sometimes I just want a color on my fingernail and not a pattern. So today I'm wearing the green kind because it's close to St. Patrick's Day. David hates them. No. <laughs> but they have a lot of cool solid colors. And when I say a lot, they have a gigantic assortment of colors and different patterns. So just a tip, the way that you should put them on is use fingernail polish remover on your fingernail first to make sure there's no oils. All you have to do with these strips is take them out of the package, of course, and you just rub them onto your fingernail. They are all sized basically in incremental sizes so that they fit on each fingernail. You smoosh them on, so you just rub them on and then you kind of file the edge off so that the extra length that you don't need just gets cut away with a fingernail file. And a tip that has really helped for me, and I think this is why they work so well and last so long on my fingernails when other people sometimes give bad reviews, you have to put a clear coat of fingernail polish on them and put a coat around the underneath edge of your fingernail, which kind of like seals them on. 
So not only do they work for chemotherapy patients who may have fingernail issues like I've had, but also they're just great for normal everyday use because they keep your fingernail polished without having to go through this giant ordeal at a getting a manicure and knowing that in two days it's going to just chip away. These last an amazing amount of time. Thank Thanks you, so much for watching this video. I hope you decide to get some of this stuff and enjoy it as much as I have. Cruelty free is very important for us. Yes. You want me we to say hate that? when people torture animals. I would Cruelty. rather not have any f products than torture animals. <laughs> I'd rather not have any f products than torture animals. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm going to say that. <laughs>